Hey guys, it's Nicole, and today I'm going to be co-hosting with Dr. Doctor. No, you're not. Why? Because I'm giving everybody inoculations for Australia. Okay, so what does that have to do with anything? You can still co-host. No, thank you, because if everybody needs to get the shot so they don't get sick. We are on my private plane going to Australia right now to save Jordan, who's been kidnapped in near a volcano. So, good luck. Okay. Because you don't get an inoculation. Fine. Well, I, I'm not going to get sick. I'll, I'll be perfectly fine. I'm not going to get sick. We'll I don't see get sick. That. Also, like, why am I even coming? I don't care what happens to Jordan. Like, he gets kidnapped. Wow. She's the one who actually gives you your paycheck. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because Lucas stole it. Guys? Yes? Uh, Hi. I'm here for my shot, Dr. Doctor. Sure. Yeah, Just yeah, sit yeah, down was... and I'll give you the vaccine. Okay. Ow. Sorry. There we go. All done. Thank you for your patience. I'm glad you were calm because others probably wouldn't be, Nicole. Yeah, well, anyway, Casey, while you're here, how about you do the weather for us? Uh, okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, hello, everyone. It's Casey with the weather. Um, since we're on the plane, I can't tell you the specifics because of, you know, airplane mode. So it's kind of rainy, uh, probably about 50 or so degrees, maybe a little of 30. Uh, just bring something to protect you from the rain if that's not an umbrella. Uh, you can probably still go for a walk, not for a swim or go fishing. Uh, that's it for the weather, everyone. Back to you, Nicole. Yes, Casey, airplane mode can be quite annoying. And you can't really do everything with it. And I don't really understand the point of it. I mean, it's not like it makes your phone fly or anything. It's like, what's the point of it? But yeah, anyway, so on to Lucas with um, whatever he talks about. Like, who cares? Hi, it's me, Lucas. And currently, I'm at this tea party place because, I mean, it's really, really good tea. But uh, let me head right back over to my set. All right. So, um, hi. Welcome to Luke, um, Airplane Tips with Lucas. Uh, so, I fly a lot, you know. I go a lot of places. I'm really popular. So, of course, you know, I was just thinking I could inform you guys what some basic plane tips, you know. Plane Hacks 101, to make your flights way more enjoyable. Uh, tip number one, make sure your stuff always gets on the plane first. I hear a lot of people saying, I lost my luggage, my luggage broke, my money got stolen. And, like, there's an easy way to fix that. Just put your stuff on the plane first. So it's the first one on, it's the first one off. There's no chance that it can get stolen. No money stolen. It is perfect idea. I don't care how you do it. If you need to break into the plane at one in the morning to put your stuff on the plane, that's okay. I did that before. It was a great experience. Got on and off. All my luggage is fine. Uh, number two is um, fashion over safety. Um, personally, I believe that it's more important if you die fashionably than if you just die. So um, I would always have great fashion uh, even if the plane people say, oh, you need to take that off, it could mess with the plane or stuff like that, just look them dead in the eyes and say, no, and continue doing what you were doing before. They might kick you off the plane, but then just get a new flight. That's happened many times before to me. Uh, and number three is... <laughs> num number three. Hello there. Of... Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Not trying to interrupt, but hello, I'm here to give you your inoculation. 
I I don't think I need an inoculation shot or whatever. I'm pretty sure I'm immune to a cold. My immunity system is so strong. I drink a lot of milk. Tut, 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 Lucas. Did you not know that insects and animals can carry diseases, especially ones that decrease your overall appearance? Um, Dr. Dr. Mister, um, I'm going to need you to translate that into English, please. Take the shot if you don't want to be ugly. Oh, you should have just said that from the start. Here, do I just give you my arm? Yes. This can't be. Ow! Well done. You are now immune to dying of ugliness. Huh. I always thought I was immune to dying from ugliness before, but I guess I'm even double immune. All right, so uh, I guess the third safety tip is uh, take your shots. They're important. As a medical professional, I very much agree. Yeah, so that was Lucas with um, plain tips. But anyway, now I'm going to be interviewing the pilot and the co-pilot. Oh, well, yeah. I am the co-pilot. Howdy, I'm the, I'm the main pilot of the here. Who yeah. Dickie, how you doing? Yeah, did I ask to um, interview him? No, I just did it anyways because take risks. Yeah, uh, oh, totally. Okay. Not, like, even fashion risks can be okay as long as it's not, like, too much of a risk because then it's, like, sometimes really not good. But, yeah, anyway. So, um, why are you a pilot? Um, I'm a pilot because, um, it's I just mean, a really like, fun. I mean, a pilot seems like really, really boring. All you're doing is like sitting in a plane for hours, staring outside of a window that's probably covered in dirt, not being able to see because of clouds and running into birds. And all you're really doing is just go, whoo click, click, click with the buttons and steer the steering wheel. Seems really boring. I mean, you're right, but the view was really nice, too. You can see the, all the lights in the city, and it's really yeah, beautiful that seems to really look at. Boring. I mean, like, you must be so high that like, the clouds cover everything, and all you can see is blue sky, maybe gray sky, maybe black sky. Who knows? I don't drive, but um, from what I know, that's what happened. Um, but it's it's just even though you're looking through the clouds, you can really see the like a view. Like it the cloud the clouds are really thin, so like you can still see lights, especially at night. Yeah, that still seems really boring. But um, thanks for your input on piloting. I'm never gonna do it because it seems extremely boring. And also, I would like to tell you one more thing. Okay. Um. Please shave that beard, and also I like the monkey better. Oh. Well, thank you, Missy Miss. Hey! I'm going to leave now. Yeah, bye. You can go. Um, yeah, so anyway, now we're going to Rose, um, that one robot, and Lily with a tea party. Sorry, technical difficulties. We're here today with another Panda Time with Tea Party. So I have Barbie here as usual, and I have Lily, the producer lady here. If you're wondering why I'm here, it's just that I'm really stressed lately, and I thought I could go on a tea party with them. Hello, humans. Tea parties are really good for relieving stress. Opinion. Tea parties are not always good. They can lead to disaster, like the Boston Tea Party. Boston Tea Party? I don't know what that is. Let's talk about boys instead. Look at this cute little boy. Look how cute he is. Fact. That isn't a boy. Sure he is. Look at him. 
He's a boy. Fact, it isn't alive. It's a stuffed animal. Uh, I don't understand again. Pandas. Okay, so, um, maybe we should just eat now. I mean, I would like the snacks for us. And look at my panda mug. I cannot eat. What do you mean you can't eat? Fact, I cannot eat. It would ruin my systems. Ruin your systems? My bacon's not that bad. Hello, hello, hello. It's time for all your inoculation shots for Australia. Not right now. I can't believe you will eat my food. You're supposed to be my best friend, and I made all these treats for us for our panda tea Excuse party. Excuse me. No, you need to take the shot. No. You're supposed Rose. to be my Rose. friend. What? She, she does. She, she literally can't eat any human food at all. And as well, she doesn't have to be your friend. And third, final. Rose, if you don't stop, I will reprogram Barb's memories so she'll forget you. <gasps> stop being so mean to her. Wait, hey, what's going on? <laughs> He's being mean to me, and Barb, Barbie won't eat my brownies. AKA, she's mad because Barb won't eat her food even mm. though she can't physically eat it, any human food. I mean, she is a robot. Look how you can't even listen to people, Rose. I don't so listen to people. Why are you so mean? <gasps> Stop being so mean to her, Rose. She doesn't understand. Sorry. Even though she doesn't understand doesn't mean that she shouldn't listen. Opinion. Rose does not appear to be listening. I am listening. I'm just upset. She repeatedly got told so many times. Wow. I cannot You're believe mean. that Rose's own best friend won't even eat her own homemade cooking. What a monster. Yeah. yeah, Barb, why are you being so mean to your best friend? Fact, as an android, I don't have emotions and therefore cannot have a best friend. <gasps> then what was the Fine, point? We're not what best friends anymore. So 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 you you are attention, you everybody. Robot, uh, attention, everybody. Good. Attention, everyone. The plane will be landing shortly. Please be prepared for landing. Thank you. For your flight. Uh, what does the whistle I, look like? End of today's episode. Um, I need to go make some more chemicals. On Tuesday at 10 a.m. to um to see Tuesday's episode. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it'll be very interesting because we'll be landing in Australia to come to go save Jordan from um kidnapping and um and um possibly being thrown into a um volcano yeah so come back on tuesday at 10 a.m um i'm your host nicole bye